Um, so welcome to another installment of the camper. Um, it doesn't look much different actually, but um, I have refilled the bottom of that door. There is slight little mark in there which I need to take out with some stopper, but the door's practically done now, so it was more or less like that last time, but it's just, um, I have like I always do, I've messed around with it again. It looks like there's a lump there, but it isn't, it's because uh, I've repainted and the other paint has been sanded back a bit, so that hasn't been sanded, that's why it looks a little bit like that. But I don't think the doors comes out too bad, really. Um, today, I haven't filmed it because it was so bright and sunny and I needed to just get on. Um, and yeah, I fixed a hole that's in there. So, um, it's a bit, it was a bit of a patchwork job. I haven't got the proper panels or anything. I've just been cutting tin and fitting them in. What I had to do was I had to cut that out there, take the whole lip bit, if you like, out, and then put one bit down to the bottom in there. You can't see brilliantly, but down there where you see the welds, and then a little bit in the bottom, and then rebuild them there. Um, it's very, very solid. I'm gonna, you see, I've just started to fill it. That's why I wanted to film it just before I actually got it filled. Um, I've just got to clean that off a bit, so I can't fill at the top, but I can fill at the bottom. So, yeah, that, that, well, the welding side of that is done. So that's solid, yeah, solid as a rock now. So, um, it brings me on to this bit, I keep talking about this. Um, it has got a hole down in there, right at the bottom, but it is right at the bottom. It's not, it's about the size of a, I don't know, a pound coin, I suppose, not much bigger than that, but I'll have to sort of cut that and address that. And this whole corner is, to be honest, a bit of a mess. There's a bit of a curve bit up behind, um, sort of through there and up around the back, um, which sort of relates to this. And that's got a few holes in it, but it's not too bad along the sill, um, un un right underneath. Along here, I might be able to just show you. Yeah, you can, you can see from, Looks cruddy there, but it's solid. But if you look there, where are we? There, right to the end. It's all that sort of corner. All needs a good, um, well, it needs all the dressing really and um, sorting. So now you can see under there, that started to get very rusty. I'll grind that back and see what's what's what there. But yeah, it was all around that corner. I'm going to have to just sort of rebuild it, um, much the same as I did there. Um, Shouldn't be quite so difficult as that one because I had the lip I had the lip to deal with there. I might have a little bit of a problem down the bottom there because it's hard to get behind. Um, I didn't jack it up very high and I didn't really want to get underneath because I, I just get covered in so many sparks and um, yeah, get burnt. Um, the welder at times went well and then it didn't. I, it might be down to me not cleaning it up properly or some of the old under seal or whatever there, but it was spitting a lot. But then I get a good run. And then it would start doing it again. I turned the um, gas up a bit, the shielding gas, to try and make it a bit better. And it did help, but then I, I'd hit a certain bit and then it wasn't so good again. But it's in there, it's ground back. Um, it wasn't the prettiest job ever, but um, as you can see, it um, looks neat enough. And once it's all filled in, it's got, it's, it's not like it's been uh, patched up with um, sort of filler or fiberglass or mesh or anything um, or newspaper it's actually got it's all totally metal it's all been um, put in metal so that should last a good a good while it, it, I'm hoping it lasts beyond my ownership of this thing um, so yeah my next job is to really just completely a lot of little tiny bits on the door take the door off and then get this bit done because this is the biggest bit really to do now there is one hole the other side I think there is one just underneath the back where the tow bar is, just along at the end near the tow bar. Um, but I think that is the rot on this done then. I don't think there's any other um, bits that are through at the moment. I was saying it won't be long before there is more bits through because it's a uh, because it's a transit. But um, a lot of what I've done in the past uh, has kept good. I ha when I put the arches on, I had done work down there. But I don't know how much I'd sort of done. And, you know, it might have just been a clean up and a... Um, it wasn't actually properly through then, so I patched next to it or whatever. I can't remember. It was 11, 11, 12, 13 years ago. Um, but I do remember doing something on this corner. It's much the same. I don't know whether I replaced that bit or whether I cut it in higher. I'll know when I take that off. And um, well, hopefully I can save that and just take that back and rush treat that. I, prefer, I don't have to do more than I really 
have to on this thing because I just want want to get it done. But yeah, I've had a um, I've had a good um, session on it, and I wanted that back corner done because that bit couldn't be filled until that was done. So I'll try and show you a bit of welding action on this bit here because it'll be a good angle for, to weld straight on. I've got to do a bit underneath, which I'd struggle to show you me welding that. But you know, right, um, on this bit behind the corner of that door, it will be at least I'll be straight on. So I'll see if I can uh, a bit of film in there. Uh, morning, back on the camper. It's Saturday morning and after a bit of a horrible week's weather, lovely today. So I think it's time I get on with that hole there. Sort try and sort that out because I need to get it done. The door's actually where is that? I'll just put that in now. Um the door currently being painted now, so it's not here, it obviously you can see it's off. So I'm gonna get that cut out, cleaned up, and then see if I can put the piece in there. Should be too difficult really. Um I've sort of got that for the profile there a little bit to work to work from. Let's see if it's better like that, get a bit closer. And that bit there, so I'll see if I can get rid of some of that filler. See what that's like up there, and then try to piece a bit in there. It's a bit of a patchwork again, but it will be strong. Um, try and get that done this weekend as well, that back corner, which we're not really far off on that. Um, and then when the door comes back, I'll just clean around there. Door comes back, rubber can go back on, and the door can go back on, and that bit can sort of be done. Um, I really need to start pushing on with this now. Um, what we well into June a bit now, so yeah, I really need to push on with this. Um, so yeah, actually, from when the door was on, it looked worse than it actually uh, is now. It's not actually that m bad. Um, I don't think none of that, I don't think none of that's through. I'll just check, but I don't think none of that's through. So I'll just rush tree down and sort of cut, try to cut along there or something. I think I'm tempted first. I think I'm tempted first to just put like that flat bit in and then build up from there but we'll see when when we start on it but i've got to get the grinder out and what have you and get it uh, get it cleaned up and we have got issues I'll show you before. Oh, we'll just recap it i've got issues under there from about there to, to the end so i'll chip all that off and see well i'll have to put a plate in along there when i can so we'll see how that goes A bit of progress. I hope you can see okay because it's bright and then it's a bit shady as well. So um, I try my best with the camera. I'm not actually in the way. If I sit the other way, I'm, shade, uh, I'm shading the camera. So, but as you can see, I've cleaned it up there uh, and cut my finger twice. Uh, I've cleaned it up around there, um, there. That bit is going to have to probably come out, but I've left that there as a marker of where I need to where, are we? where I need to stop. Um, at the moment um there's a bit of a profile sort of shape around there which i'm not 100 percent sure how it goes because i haven't got the door so i can't try that against the door so it's a little bit guesswork i have got that which i think fitted in somewhere actually i think it was somewhere around around sort of there so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to go, go for it and fit it in the best I can. I don't really think the doors fits that tight on there because it seals on the rubber there. So if I I'm gonna have to do a few pieces rather than one, I think I'm gonna run a piece of flat to about there from there. Then I'll curve the edging up to there to get that bit done. And then I'll put, probably put a piece sort of in there like that to finish it off. And I think I'm gonna be about right. And um, filler can adjust it. I can tap it in if I need be. Um, it's just, it'll be solid. That I've left on at the moment because that gives me a little bit of a guide, but I've cut that right the way through to the back. You can't see brilliantly, the light is not good. But there you can see, I've cut right through the back because that's got to go and then it's got to go a bit further along. But I'm not interfering with none of that because that's okay. So I'll just play it underneath further along. But this bit will be replaced. So, um, yeah, so I've really got to get some metal cut. The problem is the metal I've got is so, it's so, um, it's quite thick, so it's quite hard to cut. I will rush treat that with some back tan, but I can still do that um, from up there when I take that off, when I've got this bit in, so that's what I'll do. 
Um, I hope you can see okay. Um, I've actually made the whole profile of the whole piece there. Um, there might be a few gaps I just have to fill in with a weld and I had to cut that. Well, I thought I had to cut that and I actually probably didn't at the end. It was to make the bend, but I can just pull that back in and weld that. I think that's pretty close to be honest. As soon as I've started to weld around there, I can bang that bit in, pull any bits out. I'm not welding onto that at the moment because I've got to decide what I'm going to do with that. But at least I'll have that sort of more awkward curve bit and the rest is just sort of flat and metal. And if you push that up, see that sort of sits up there almost sort of perfect then. So I'll have to just put a curved bit on the bit from underneath, but that's not a problem. Um, not that I'm that worried about that bit today. I want to sort of get this bit in first, then I might have a look at that bit and then work myself down to underneath. But um, it has got to come out because I've just got to weld that bit there to there because it was before welded. There was like a lip come up on there, so I'll just connect it to there at the moment. Well, that'll be okay anyway. Um, and then that sort of holds in there okay. Get a bit of weld on that. Cleaned up pretty well today. Um, gone back to nice, um, good metal. You can see where I've welded, probably, if the sun's not affecting you. Um, I welded in there before, so but then it's rotted through again there, so I'm gonna have to put a little piece in there. So, but that is on the next stage anyway, so. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get the welder out in a second. I'm gonna get that done, because it will look a million times better when that bit's in. And then um, whether I get the seal done um, today, I'm not sure, but um, I've got to do something with that corner, so we shall see. Um, it's pretty rough, to be honest, all the way all the way up to about there, really. So um, I might have to make that, which is not gonna probably be too much fun. But I'll have a look and then we'll see where we're going to go from there. Um, as you can see, I've just done them welds and they've come on nice, uh, much better. I turned the gas down a little bit, my gas was too high. Last time I used it, I think I was trying to get through um, rust. I don't think I cleaned it so well. So, look there, them ones are much neater. Not the best welds in the world, but they're not, they're not bad, I don't think. You can see plenty of penetration through there. Um, so yeah, um, I just did just have the gas a bit too much. I think that's why it looks a little bit sort of burny around the, the other bits. But it's sort of trial and error with the gas. I've never quite got 100%. And it sort of differs. It depends what the metal's like as well a little bit. But it's not really spitting too bad. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleaning up and banging in to get things right. That needs to be just slightly cut off there just so I can get that bit done to there. And you see I'm getting on quite well. I'll show you that one off and sort them bits out and tap them in. So everything's all right.
Um, so as you can see, that hasn't gone in there too badly. It's a little bit high there, but I can grind them uh, grind them welds out. Um, and yeah, it's um, nice and solid, that is. I've got a little what, bit there I've missed, just there. That's where I overrun with the um, tin snips. But I'll give you a general idea. Yeah, like I said, the welds are a bit high. It went quite nice along there, but then here's the angle I was working at a little bit. I think I should have changed that a bit, but to be honest, I am quite happy with that. Try and get that into sort of level. That's where I think it's got, got a go. But yeah, as you can see, that's looking a lot better. So I'll carry on, sort out that, tidy it up a little bit, and then we'll have that bit sort of done with there. And then we can move on. That is the hardest, but I think I've got the profile about right. I don't think it's far out. So, um, things have actually got a little bit worse on this. As you can see, that it's all um, ground down now. I don't know if I'll show you that. But, um, yep, that's looking neat and tidy now. I've had to, I've cut the bottom part of the sill out. Um, what was right enough? I've bent this bit up at the moment. That'll be bent back ground up because that's good metal there. Um, that's my problem I had underneath trying to find good metal. But the lip, you can see, is gone uh, from there. There is okay, that's solid enough there. But all the way to the end, the lip is gone. So my job is now, is what I'm doing, rather than go underneath, there's only about, well, it's only about the length of that, my finger there. So not much more than a centimetre behind. Uh, I've got to try and clean all that down to weld a bit on. So what I'm actually doing is going to weld it I'm going to weld a new lip in along that good bit of metal there. I took the old lip out and I shall run the new metal behind uh, longer. So then when I do this bit of seal, I can uh, just finish it off there over the, and then weld it along and then just trim the bottom off. That's how I've done it before, and that's how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to land on it. It's difficult to weld under there. I won't get such a good weld. So what I'll do, I'll try and clean that off the best I can along there. And then, um, yeah, just weld a new um, lip in. I'd have liked to have butted it straight up, but that isn't going to really be possible because um, of, it's a bit rusty down the bottom still. Um, I can seam sell it from the other side afterwards, and it would be like welded on the inside. I'm going for the simple approach on this, and um, yeah, that is it. Along there, and that it's all it's all okay. And like I said, that bit of um, bent out is okay, and here is okay, and to the front is okay. But it's this you can see it's quite a big section, really. Um, and it would been easier if I suppose I had a repair panel for it, but I haven't. I'm just making it up as I go along. So yeah, that's gonna it'll be nice and solid when it's done. So my hardest job is to try and get in there cleaning that off because the big angle grinder isn't easy. I need one of them little like die grinder things really, but I haven't got one. So uh, the only thing I could have done is gone at my dad's and got one. But I might try the drill and wire brush in to get the worst of it off and then go from there. Um, progress being made. Um, I've now got that, you can just see up there the welds. I've now got that lip in there. Um, like I said, it's the way I do it so I don't have to weld from behind and yeah, that's nice and solid now. You can sort of see the welds along there, it's gone okay. Um, I've tapped that bit back around there, cleaned that off so that's clean metal now. Just got to do a little bit around there. That end will still be joined up to when I sort that bit out. And what I shall do now is when I um, cut the bit of the seal, I'll join it onto along that edge obviously, then I'll and bend it round there, slightly short, so then I can weld right along the bottom of that lip and then I can cut just below the welds, grind it off level, and then, yeah, it means um, be a nice double, uh, double lip there then. So, yeah, we are getting there, and some progress. That bit was a bit unexpected, because I thought it was probably better behind, but I think that's gonna be nice and solid now. So, um, yeah, so the next step will be try and sort out that corner, which I'm tempted. I think that piece is okay. I'm going to grind it all off. And that's quite a strong bit of metal there. It's a few, I think it's a few uh, layers that are there. So I'm going to try and keep that for the shape of things, just not to confuse things. I'll fill that hole up there from the other side when I've done the rest. And um, that is where I've got to put another lip bit in but that's got to go higher up in there a little bit in that one because if i'd have known i've done it before i put this on it would have been a lot, lot easier but 
I should be able to get in there okay. Um, so yeah, I've got to go a bit higher up there because it's rotten there. So yeah, we're we're getting there. It will be strong when it's done. And um, then little bits will just all the little bits will just fill in. And I've dented along there there a little bit now. They'll just all fill in. And then they'll have a new um, some more the textured um gravitex or something on it something similar and um yeah the steel won't be too bad at all then so um there is still a bit behind which um i will have to get up on the ramps to do there's another little bit there as well but all i have to do is like cut that little bit out there that's not going to be too difficult um that i'll probably have to take the whole lot of that out what i'll do i'll cut it out then I put the bit and then cut the next bit out so then I, I'm keeping the shape. Um, I don't mind cutting the bits out so I'm making them myself. Um, I don't know whether I could, I didn't I never even look to see whether you could buy this panel. I never realised it was quite as bad here as it was. Like I said it did always have a an area where it sort of always rusted but I didn't realise it was quite such a mess as, yeah, as it was. But yeah at least long time you can see the distance of the sort of repair bits I've had to do. Um, but yeah, I will be really pleased to get this out of the way. I'll work on it another hour or two, get that bit in. Probably won't quite finish it today. And as it's Sunday tomorrow, I probably won't touch this part tomorrow. Um, this is where I got to. Um, I've more or less finished. I'm just gonna grind underneath that to smooth that off a bit. But you can see what I've done. I've put, that's the back lip there and I've welded the seal repair piece in front of it. Welded along that lip. He's going to have to have some filler in to tidy it up, but like I said, I don't want to have to buy panels for it or anything. And um, actually, I might better show you behind it. I can't see myself. But. That is extremely strong now. That really strong. So let's put that piece in. Uh, so my next um, job on it will be doing the same in there and then sorting out that corner. Probably won't be too bad, but um, yeah, that's strong. It doesn't look the prettiest, the welds aren't the best, but they're in there, they've held, they've penetrated well. And um, yeah, it's just a matter of cleaning it up now. Sorry about that, the, the pawling's flying about. Um, but that's nice and solid and strong, that'll um, last a, a long time. So yeah, I don't wanna spend loads and loads of money on this. So a bit of filler in there, bring the, um, seal back out. Can't really do that until I've got the until I've got the door on it, because um, I don't know exactly where it's gonna. Everything's gonna quite sit. So um, yeah, so I won't do any filling until I've got the door back on it. Yep. So that's where I got to today. Um, I got that um, back lip in. I got the piece, the seal piece in, and I got that bit there. And I think it's gone in pretty well, to be honest. Um, uh, so yeah, I've got to deal with that mess next time. I'm get a filler in it, get the get it all tidied up, and then yeah, that bit can be forgot about. And then um, what is there? It's a little bit underneath, just behind under under there, just up around the back. A little bit there, a bit the same the other side, and a bit on the back corner, uh, right at the back back of the van. And then I think that is the rust side of it, sort of done. Um, unless I find any more, which is probably quite likely on one of these. I think the whole thing was, this is 20 years old, and Transit's probably, you know, Ford didn't want them to last 20 years, they probably want them for the last 10 years tops, and then, um, you know, sell them, if they lasted forever and didn't rust, people probably wouldn't replace them, but, yeah, they rust, so, same with Mercedes Sprinters, and a lot of vans, actually, they're made, um, well, back in the day, you know, like 20, 30 years ago, they were made to sort of last, sort of, probably 10 years and then it started to rust so unless they had loads of work done on them they got scrapped nowadays it's usually the electrics or something that um lets them down and you know bands that look really good land up getting scrapped because they're too expensive to repair because of the electrics so yeah it's gone the old sort of other way now but um so basically you need the old-fashioned running gear of one of these in a new van and then you'd be all right but then again people wouldn't be happy with the performance then would they so because this is is slow but just depends in you know even you're on holiday why rush and that's what it is now it's a camper so yeah why rush so yeah i'd love to get this one done though but um i feel like i'm getting somewhere now because the, the rust did, did that corner like i showed you before I've, i'm getting on with this bit now the doors being painted 
So once that comes back, I can start sort of sorting out all the little bits and then get this side sort of ready, tidy enough to um, get the van MOT'd so I can um, use it. But in between times, I hope to get the bodywork done. So I may take the back doors off and get them painted. Uh, I've got to do a little repair on one, but we'll see how that all goes. At the moment, I'm just concentrating on these areas. So I've, no, I've, kept, I've kept putting them off and um, you know, I'm sort of putting there now. So yeah, um, I'll leave this part here and I'll show you when I've got on with more on this project. But thanks for watching. I'll be along with another video again soon.